three. Well, the winner of this game will play either Tiana Silva and Victoria Lopez or Hegeli Ahmed or Tiana Lima as we meet the Americans to start off with. Therese Cannon is the first onto the sand and the graphics just mixed up there is Sarah Hughes. Volleyball fans will recognize one the Moscow four star with Summer Ross at the expense of Agatha Duda. Maybe that's going to be a good omen today as the American is back into Final Four Volleyball. And what a career, what a pathway for Cannon. It's the biggest game internationally of her career, a first major Final Four for Cannon. Well, a friendship, a partnership that has been around the world many a time. Agatha, a true legend of the sport, an Olympic medalist, a world champion in 2015. But this partnership with Duda has been stronger than any other partnership she's had before. Agatha, well, at 38 years old now, but Duda, 23 years young still, makes her way into the arena to delight the home fans. Well, the last hurrah for Agatha Duda. They will have to win one out of the next two games to guarantee another medal. But Sarah Hughes and Therese Cannon have been on fine form, already upsetting Rebecca and Talita in the quarterfinals. And the semifinals underway here in Itapema, America in the red, Brazil in the yellow, and Sarah Hughes is the first target. Well, Hughes now 26 years old, coming in diagonally on the cross court. Ball just drops inside a little bit, but she does good work with the feet to keep it over the hitting window. Agatha the target, and there's a huge, huge start for Cannon. He may have some nerves coming into this first major final four, but not with a strong outside hand like that one. Well, it's just their second competition together. As Agatha scoops one sharp angle, that's some swing. And for obvious reasons, this is the first time that these teams have ever met. That's not that they haven't crossed paths before, but Agatha, most inspirational on the FIVB World Tour in 2018. Best sports person as well. They go after Cannon and there's cheers from the crowd. The atmosphere, absolutely electric. Agatha doing a little bit of DIY. Late into the angle of Cannon. And it's interesting already. USA, the only non-Brazilian team left in this competition as half of the last 16 were actually from Brazil. Six Brazilian sides won their pool and went straight through to round two. Another two joined them from round one as Cannon serves. Big spin serve from the center. And more angle swings from Agatha. And for Therese Cannon, it's a strong start for her, but in an interview with the AVP, the domestic tour, she never knew that she would make a career as a professional beach volleyball athlete domestically, but now she's here. She's on the big stage playing Brazil in Brazil for a place in a major final. Hughes chops back across the body. It's a good start for the USA. The team's changing every seven points. Cut shot this time from Hughes. Shows a lot of the line. And Agatha once more. Well, she's hit sharp. She's hit hard diagonal. She's been successful every single time. Well, this partnership for 
Agatha has been more successful than the one she shared with Barbara Sexhouse when it comes to winning World Tour events. Herself and Barbara won four overall. Yes, one of those was the World Championships in The Hague in 2015, but Sarah Hughes, we saw the cut shot previously, now just goes with the high knuckle line. Good variation from her. Cannon, a product of USC, under the guidance of Anna Collier, has to chase this one in transition, has to try and roll it on, and she does a fine job of rolling it on, but the break is good from Agatha. Brazil just one down at the moment, but it's a fine break as well from Cannon. And a fantastic line shot with the breaking block of Brazil. USA mean business here. Serve to the sideline this time from Cannon, varying her serves as well. But again, with Sarah Hughes sitting on the angle, it's very tough to play defense above waist height, and it's pretty colossal from the left side. Unsure what the future holds for Cannon and Hughes after this competition, but one thing I'll take is the fact that this pairing certainly does work with some of the scalps that they've already taken from this competition, including Talita and Rebecca, but also Svenja Müller and Sinja Tillman, an exciting new German team, more knuckle, pokey. Not much between the two teams early on here. Duda. And it's a late move, Agatha going into the angle very late. Duda sweeping the line, but in transition, she's going away from the body and she just misses the sideline. It's another good break for the USA. You have to give credit to Duda for that swing. Not an easy swing whatsoever, but the USA. Well, they're in the lion's den here. Let's put it that way. And they're up against the number one team in the world. Agatha Duda took a third, though, last week in the Brazilian tours. Hughes makes a dig. Cannons all over it, but the point does go to Brazil. And there's not much between the two. Cannon has to get his skates on after that one. Big lunge into the sand, but to no avail. Well, Duda will be pushing on with Anna Patricia next season. Internationally and domestically and what should be an exciting team for the future of Brazil. They've already won the Youth Olympics in Nanjing in 2017 together and also the under 21s in Lucerne. They're back together to compete at senior level, but it's the USA who are one up so far. Do they the target now from the inside? Slightly wider set to the pin, and that opens up the cross court angle for Duda. Wow, quick feet, good arm. Best hitter on the World Tour 2018. Two time best defensive hitter, or best defensive player. Already two time most outstanding player on the world tour, Duda. And you think just 23 years young, there is Sarah Hughes. Great feet once more, and variation is something that's been key for Sarah Hughes so far. Sarah Hughes has been working with Jose Loyola for some time, former world champion. Therese Cannon, a little bit with Scott Davenport, the former coach of Sarah Pavin and Melissa Humana Paredes. I formation defense, both lining up in the body of Agatha before splitting in separate directions. Try not to give anything away to the Brazilian offense. 
Hughes wants more, slightly wider set, this time trying to squeeze the ball back cross court, but running out of room from the inside there, Sarah Hughes. Cannon really has to try and push that one across the right side up to sink it in the hitting window. Certainly does that. Execution slightly out though. Hughes again from the right side, needing a side out here. There is no side out, there's only Duda. Can Duda put one away in transition? Hughes is there, but no. This is a good, good run for Brazil. Two stops on Hughes, full stretch from Duda. It's one thing getting that ball up, but it's another thing being able to put it away with that much composure. Well, Agata and Duda won here in 2018. A fifth place finish in 2019, a break in 2020. There's a side out that the USA were craving after missing a couple quickly. Cannon this time releases on the back set. If you're in a fiddle, go deep middle. Well, the USA have won here in 2019. Kleinman Ross, the Olympic gold medalists, topped the podium at the expense of Pavin and Humana Paradez. Agatha Duda also won the last time the World Tour was in Rio de Janeiro in 2017. In a week that's seen some new partnerships take place. Angela Labato, Maria Caro, one of them, Talita and Rebecca. This is going to be interesting to see the Brazilian change up in pairs as we head to a three year Olympic race towards Paris. Cannon. Gets us back on the way though. Says Agatha, he has to come through the middle now. So it's a really good move to the line from Sarah Hughes. The ball had to really go that way because of the pass. And Hughes is looking for the decision. Hughes has got the decision. The USA hustling away here. Serving well against Brazil. Oh, and the fans are not so happy. Agatha was sure that ball was out. She's having a little point at the line, Judge. The fans certainly not happy. And for the first time, the fans certainly make their presence felt it. Chase is on, out of system, back through the middle. This time, Agatha trying to go back to the line, but goes high off the hands. It's a good service angle here. Agatha goes to floor, and that means she loses rhythm, but she has to go off the body to try and squeeze a line ball off the hands of Cannon. Ball goes astray. Sarah Hughes, well, played with Kelly Clays for some time back in 2015. Played with lots of different partners in her career. But Agatha, well, she's been asked some questions and she's starting to really answer them. This time, palms on the way on the cut shot. You can see two or three looks at the court can see Sarah Hughes dancing into the line, pops the ball away. Hughes again, coming in slightly on the angle, can only roll the line, and when she does roll the line, Duda's there, Brazil to go two up, and they go two up, the crowd absolutely love it. Brazil are rolling, making digs. And the most important thing is they're turning digs into points. Well, Hughes and Clay's played twice on the World Tour in 2016, two ninth place finishes.
be interesting to see what happens in the American partnerships as still not confirmed what happens now to Sponsor and Clace and so many strong players coming out of the USA with the NCAA providing so much depth in players that's some set from Agatha stays super low under the height of the net and the persistence in the rally pays off for them it's a good serve to the sideline of Sarah Hughes and it's a beautiful baby line but it's so well seen from Agatha can you know Hughes is there there must have been a touch off the block of Cannon. Two ball from Duda, watch out. Well, we all saw it. But let's be honest, none of us could have dug it. That from Agatha. It's one thing to see that short line. It's another thing to turn and keep the ball alive. Beautifully executed two ball from Brazil. They've just started to find a cushion. They lead by four here. What's been an entertaining opening set. Hughes a target, looking to try and force the two ball. It's going to be a gift for Duda from the USA. And it's a five-point lead now for the world's number one team. Sarah Hughes feeling the pressure, trying to get Cannon in on two. The pass just drifting over. And there's a timeout now from the USA. Brazil just four away from well, what's been an epic run in the second half of this opening set. incredible setting for the sport of beach volleyball Agatha and Duda in fine form as the serve is a good one and Agatha's back in the game with an absolutely colossal block Passing off the net, Hughes limits her options offensively and diving into the line. Agatha, an absolute fire hit. Again, serving straight down the line on Hughes. She's coming in more of an angle. Good touch from Duda. Once again, Agatha is certainly alive at the net today, but Cannon goes off body to the sharp angle. Well, Hughes and Olympian Lauren Fendrick actually beat Cannon and Kelly Reeves in the CM Reap two-star final. But now joining forces, they're going to have to do this the hard way by the looks of it because the quality now from Agatha and Duda on another level. Siding out, making plays defensively. Off the net once more for Hughes, who tries to go up back to the line. It's a smart play from Sarah Hughes. It really is. Just beats Agatha for speed, moving backwards. Nothing that Agatha could do about that one. Sarah Hughes, three wins on the World Tour, serving. Cannon beaten to the line from Agatha. Once again from the inside, just manages to work the ball back to the sideline. Agatha, who started to play volleyball all the way back in 1992. 
trying to put USA under the cosh, but some jumbo, that one from Sarah Hughes. Oh, uh, good bump set into the right spot. It's slightly tight, so it has to try and get the ball over the top. Great placement. Was it a jumbo, was it not? Well, you guys can decide, but Brazil still in pole position here. USA with everything to do. Ace through the middle from Cannon. Cannon by name, Cannon by nature. Pick that one out. USA still need a few. It's time off the net band. Two ball from Duda. It's a game of time and Duda takes time away from the USA defensively. And Brazil take the opening set here, 21-16. A fine start for the world number one team. That's how it finished. Tubal off the hands of Cannon, who's drifting in the block, trying to establish herself. The knuckle, too accurate for Sarah Hughes defensively. Well, there's a sea of yellow here in Itamima. They've all just been told to quieten it down. So we have no idea what's going on in the arena. There is a slight pause in play for the teams to rejuvenize and for the USA start to figure out a way that they can get their way back into this game in the second set and there we have it the music's back on and Brazil very quickly feels like Brazil again winner of this one Awaits the winner of an all-Brazilian semi-final. Second set started by Sarah Hughes. Sat in the pocket. Agatha has been impressive throughout this game. Quick last two steps. Arm fires right the way through. First played on the domestic tour in 2003, Agatha. What a career she's gone on to have. And she's animated. She's certainly alive at the net, Agatha. Well, even off the net. Good reactions to pick the short one. Good decision to go after Cannon Deep. And always looking through the net to see what's coming next. cross block defender sitting in the line is something that's working nicely for Brazil here every time they serve Hughes on the long angle block the cross court they find some joy defensively and Duda in transition unstoppable Brazil 3-0 this time serving Hughes to the line coming in on an angle once more more cross-court blocks, more moving to the line from Duda. And that's just because of the diagonal approach that Hughes has. It means that her power and speed attacks are going to the cross-court, which means the softer attacks going to the line. Agatha. Well, we'll try and block the angle all day long by the looks of it. It seems to be working. Well, Brazil. Siding out with absolute ease. Duda this time. Couple of looks at the court. Just draws the ball away from Hughes. Knuckle two ball. Again, it's seen from Agatha. She's seen just about everything. 
The USA under serious pressure now already. Brazil have done a fine job in solving a few problems early on with the pass and the side out. They've been very, very consistent since midway in set number one. And that's so good from Sarah Hughes, who this time shows us she might just go back to the line before chipping back on the cut shot. Duda's paying attention to everything that Hughes is showing her, trying to make a read. First end, 5-2. Well, three of the women's world top 20 here this week as lots of teams decide to make the most of the off-season before what's going to be a very busy next season. The Beach Volleyball World Tour, the Pro Tour, as it's been called. And for the rest of the teams, it's been a great opportunity for them to come here and make some ranking points to aid them through the next season in the Pro Tour that's going to be the top 16 teams in the world, supported by the Challenger Tour and the Futures Tour as well. There was a big opportunity for Kachistam and Lisa Shun, who are just outside that top 16 at the moment. A fifth place finish would have knocked Latvia's Tina Glaudinia and Anastasia Klavchenoka out of that top 16, but fortunately they did not make their fifth place. So it'll be interesting to see where all these teams sit come March time when the Pro Tour will start. Duda served to the inside. The USA still at two. Duda still going off the hands. The athleticism, the height that she takes the ball at, Duda. And the smart decision making. And an ace from Agatha this time. Well, Agatha and Duda, last one in start just before the Olympic Games, but wins in Cancun in 2021 as well. But before that, 2019 saw wins in Tokyo, Ostrava. The win before that was the World Tour Finals in Hamburg in 2018. They really have had a great run as a team. Hughes once again coming in a bit straighter and brushing it back on the cut shot, showing different pictures now to Brazil's defence. Dummy two ball from Duda, not brought from Cannon. Interesting from Cannon, very, very good not to buy the bait from Duda and to stay tracking Ag Agatha, but Agatha also making a good decision in challenging the blocker off body. <laughs> Leaving her once more short, Hughes. It's a good dig from Duda. And they're trying to go off the hands of Cannon as often as possible. Trying to really work the blocker. First one's a continuation block, but it's good enough to put enough pressure on Brazil to make the error later on in the rally. Maybe this is an opportunity for the USA. You can't remember Agatha missing too many. Gone off the hands nicely. And that's almost unstoppable. Well, 
Once again, serving straight down the line, and it's a very good tactic for Brazil. It's another block for Agata. Serving down the line has managed to make Sarah Hughes pass off the net multiple times and limit her options. That's really given Brazil a chance, and it's Duda overhead. Wide play against Hughes now. Superbly back to the line. Unbelievably red from Duda, but too good from Hughes. What a rally. Sarah Hughes multiple times challenging the Brazilians. That from Duda. Palm straight back, but the wider set played through the seam. Too good from Hughes. That'll do. Still the target. Ball's a little bit quick and it's really well slowed down from Duda. Had to go to floor, but it doesn't really matter about what Duda does in that situation. It's about where the ball finishes and the ball sits up wonderfully well for Agatha to turn the ball to the line. Once again, the deep serve. It's missed out. We also saw Barbara Herman over team up with new partner Marie Sarah Stochlova this week. Maki Slakova taking a break from the sport. We hope to see her back soon. One team to keep a lookout for as the Beach Pro Tour starts. But also an incredible week for Cyprus in the women's competition as they qualified for the main draw. Erica Nystrom, if Beach volleyball fans remember the Nystroms from Finland now playing for Cyprus. Nystroms are the most experienced team ever to play on the World Tour. 194 tournaments, but Erica playing with 17-year-old future Stanford student Daria Gusarova. Two losses in the main draw, but showing that Cypriot volleyball's going the right way. Off the body swing on the right side. Too good for Brazil. And at the timeout, they lead by three. Some shots of Brazilian dominance so far. The future is very bright for the USA as Ken was diving into the line very late. But it's Brazil by three. They really have to push it. Passing to the middle, bringing it back to the line is good from Hughes, making the Brazilian defense shift and watch and keeping them moving all the time. But Duda's response, powerful once again. And the USA can't find many points off of Agatha or Duda at the moment. Chase this time from Duda, standing roll shot from Agatha chance at three down for the USA to bring it back to two and they do so nicely saving their own side out but cool calm and collective from Cannon been impressive just using her height there Therese Cannon who at 6-3 is the tallest on the court at the moment so rightfully so She'll know that if she stays high, she can go over the top of Agatha. 
Great defensive touch from Hughes on the right side. Goes back to the line. Duda is there, but to no avail. And that is the break that the USA have been pushing for. It's a late turn back to the line. Too quick for Duda. Cannon with the jump serve once more. Has to try and come in and penetrate. They look to go around her again. Interesting from Brazil because Cannon has a lot to do there. To spin serve, to chase in, to make a good line on the block and to press. So no surprise that Duda targets going past the blocker. But what a reply from the world's best. The USA make a break, but then Brazil side out and make one back. Cross court blocks coming. We've seen so many of those against Hughes today. It's a long angle serve that's into the net this time. Well, they're still in touch here in Itabima. As Brazilian fans come through these events with a certain expectation. And one thing for sure is that it's going to be an all Brazilian final if this game goes the way of Brazil. And it looks like Agatha and Duda want to see this partnership out with a gold medal and a win here would certainly be the perfect start to the final four for them. Do the serving straight down the line this time to Sarah Hughes and then it's more cross court blocking. It's a tactic that certainly worked throughout. Hughes makes well a one arm stab but it's a miraculous one. Agatha showing that she can still play Defence with the best of them. The Brazilian blocker takes everything into her own hands. And the lead is extended just as the USA made a break and looked like they'd earned themselves a chance back into the set. Brazil have running away. Duda at the net this time. Agatha. Lethal. In transition. Cannon through the centre. Good swing from Cannon. And the serving from Cannon, another jumper. Going after Duda, and Duda once more choosing to go back to the line ball that is still in the avenue that Cannon is protecting. It's almost exactly the same idea from Duda. And at 18 14, Brazil just need three to seal their place in the gold medal match tomorrow. Hughes. Chipping short this time, it's a great shot from Sarah Hughes. Agatha going low in the block to try and hide out the vision of Hughes for as long as possible. The winner of this game, well, will play the winner of Tiana Silva and Hey Gielli. Almeida dos Santos and the winner when they play Faina Silva and Victoria Lopez Pereira after this game. An all Brazilian final the fans have come for and it looks as if an all Brazilian final is what they will get unless Hughes and Cannon can find some breaks. Tremendous work at the net for Hughes. Just draws it slightly off the midline. Always very tough to defend this. We'll have a better look from behind.
maybe not, but the serve into the net brings up match point for Brazil. And for Agata and Duda. They will make medal number 21 this weekend by the looks of it. But what colour will it be? The USA, well, they managed to side out to stay alive. Big point for Hughes. Is there another twist to this one? Agatha, who's guided Duda all the way through this partnership, brings calm when it's needed the most. Choose with the serve from the inside. Agatha, there you have it. The world, the number one team, the number one seeds in their last ever competition together will go through to the final tomorrow to play against a fellow Brazilian side. But this one will mean so much to them. They have earned medal number 21. But will it be silver or will it be gold? They've given so much to Brazilian volleyball throughout a partnership where they've won seven gold medals in 42 events. Agatha puts yet another game to bed in the sea of yellow. Absolutely love it in the background. Delight for Brazil and for a team who have done so much won so many awards individually as well you can see how much this one really means to them well there's the confirmation of the score Brazil have defeated the USA by two sets to zero 21-16, 21-17. They were really, really good for it today, weren't they? A great performance from the USA to make the final four. They'll be back to battle for bronze tomorrow against the Brazilian team that are defeated in the all-Brazilian final taking place after this game. Well, the fans can't go too far here because there's another game coming up straight after. Duda and Agatha, who won here in 2018, are looking to win here again in 2021, and they would have their little place in history in what would be the final team to win a gold medal at a four-star competition before the start of the Beach Pro Tour next year. Well, we're just waiting to hear from our winners. Congratulations. Can you please tell us a little about your great win today? But we study a lot, we have uh, videos from this tournament, so we study. But I think the, the big key was our energy you know, in, in the court. And we have this support, the crazy support. Beautiful. Two years without this, so we are very happy. And play here, the last, last tournament for us, and we are in the final, so unbelievable. How was the blocking in this match? The block? What do you think? My block? Uh, I think uh, some, uh, uh, sometimes they, they use a lot uh, shot balls. And when they use shot balls, I can't help too much my partner. But when they decided to do the hit, the ball, I think I was in the right side. <laughs> so this helped a lot our, our team today. And the serves. And the serves. In, our, in this tournament, we uh, the the game before this, 
we didn't service very well. So we talk too much about this, that we needed to do a good service because this is a good team and they have a very nice uh, side out. So if we are not doing our very nice service, probably they will won. So, uh, so I think we did a good service. <laughs> Well, some great inside court side to the blocking and serving of Brazil. They certainly were on form from the baseline, teeing up defensive plays left, right and center against an American team that have done so well this week. A new partnership to make the final four. They'll play for bronze. And Brazil, Agatha and Duda, one of the best team that we've seen on the World Tour in recent history, will be playing for gold. What a view, what a performance, what drama we've got here. There's only more coming our way. Well, the party has only just started. Confirmation that it will be an all Brazilian final, but who will be joining Agatha and Duda tomorrow? Tiana Silva or Hey Jelly, Almeida dos Santos. Tiana and Victoria Lopez. That's the next game here. From Brazil. But the big stories here. Agatha and Duda in their last competition together have made the gold medal match. They're the world's number one team and they're going for one last hurrah. And it would be very fitting in the way of them in the semi-final, a tough nut to crack from the USA. But they came through in tough circumstances and straight sets to go with it. Some of the touches from Duda up there with the best that we've seen all week. Great start for Therese Cannon. Can she walk away with a medal this week with Sarah Hughes? It would be a big, big milestone in a promising career of Cannon. Hughes has already won a four-star in Moscow. But she would love another medal, that's for sure. Well, that's... The start of four matches coming our way from Itapema Beach. And that's all we've got time for. Agatha Duda, they go through to the gold medal match. The USA will play for bronze tomorrow.